Well, I got involved with ovarian cancer um, partly because I lost my mother-in-law to ovarian cancer, but then a very good mutual friend of ours was diagnosed, and I guess we wanted to do something positive, really. So one thing we both do quite regularly is um, station collections, um, both at London Underground stations and mainline stations. Yes, yeah, so we go along in the morning and with our collecting buckets and... Uh, and our smiley faces. And our smiley faces. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, it's, it's, it's a great thing to do, actually. It's a great opportunity to stand and people watch. And people are so generous and so lovely. Mm. And they also, I mean, it's not just collecting money. Um, very often in the course of a morning, somebody will stop and they'll want to talk because they've been affected by ovarian cancer in some way. And then we can you know, get them in touch with the charity. We've raised, we worked out, it's, it's over £25,000 between us now um, in the time that we've been collecting and that's a lot, that's a lot of money. We've both done sponsored walks and things like that but actually there's a limit to the number of times you can tap up your friends and your family to uh, give you some money on for a sponsored walk whereas this is something we can do quite regularly and raise a significant amount of money. In, in a couple of hours um, we know that often we will raise several hundred pounds so it, it feels like a very worthwhile thing to do. The main thing is when you're actually collecting just to sort of look friendly and approachable and smile but the other main top tip is you do need to make a bit of noise you can't be too shy you've got to get the name of the charity out there even we have hundreds of people walking past us every day and lots of them do give but even those who don't um, with any luck we've raised awareness of the name of the charity and of ovarian cancer in general